Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Church of the Open Bible, 12 Washington Boulevard, Kingston 20, Jamaica, West Indies. We want to say welcome to those of you who are in-house, and welcome to those of you who are joining us by the way of Love Radio, and those who join us by the way of YouTube. So happy that you could be a part of our worship service, and we trust and hope that the blessings of Almighty God rest upon you, mighty, as we worship the Lord and worship Him in spirit and in truth. Can we pause for a moment as we commit ourselves to be true worshiper? Can we once again ask Him for His cleansing? The Bible says we regard iniquity in our hearts. God will not hear us. So let us ask him for his washing and his cleansing. Everybody should be prayed down. Everybody should bow your heads. If you are at home, we ask that you do so. If you are in house, we ask that you do so. Praise God. Righteous, most eternal God. Holy and righteous is your name. Your kingdom come and your will be done in this place. We surrender ourselves to you. And we ask that you will forgive us of our sins. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness. From the filthiness of the flesh. And Lord, this morning we pray that you will pour yourself in us afresh this morning. The psalm is a create in us clean heart. And renew right spirit within us. Cast me not away from your presence. And take not thy Holy Spirit from us. But restore to us the joy of your salvation. We commit this service to you. We commit every person who will be joining us. Whether by YouTube. Whether by radio. Our Lord in person. We pray that your kingdom will come in your life and that the transforming power of the Holy Spirit will bring us into a deeper and closer relationship with you. Have thine own way now, we pray, and glorify yourself. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can we just stand and lift our hands and just give God thanks this morning? The psalmist say we must enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. Can someone give him a praise this morning? Can someone give him a worship this morning? Can someone exalt and magnify the Lord this morning? Hallelujah. We give you praise this morning. We give you praise. We worship you this morning, Lord. We adore you. We exalt your holy name. Hallelujah. We magnify you, Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is your mercies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We glorify you this morning, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord our God. Hallelujah. We magnify you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let us remain standing as a praise and worship team. Come to lead us in the time of worship and thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Let's just lift up those hands and just worship him because he is worthy to be praised. He's the king of kings, the lord of lords, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. And he's brought us here this morning. Come on and worship him. Give him worship. Give him worship. Give him praise and glory and honor. We're going to sing praises. We're going to sing thanks giving unto his name because he is worthy. Hallelujah. 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 Sing praises unto God, sing praises. Sing praises unto God, sing praises. Hallelujah. Sing praises unto God, sing praises. Hallelujah. For God, God is our King over all the earth. Sing praises unto Him with understanding. So glad, so glad your hands and shout. Come on, we sing praise. 
Lift your hands and worship him. Tell him something sweet this morning. He's getting you up this morning. He's giving you a privilege to worship. Worship him. Hallelujah. We give you praises. We give you glory, almighty God. You are great and mighty. You are worthy to be praised. There is none like unto you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are worthy, Jesus. You are worthy. Continue to worship him. Continue to give him glory. Don't wait on me to worship, but worship. You know what God has done for you. Hallelujah, Jesus.
are such a mighty God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Despite our troubles, despite what we are going through, you are still good. You are still good, God.
continue to worship him. to you, oh God. 
will re- recommit to ourselves to you even now today. Mighty God, we pray that your will be done in the earth. Not our will, but thy will be done. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done in the name of Jesus. Not our will, but thy will be done. May we walk in line with you in the name of Jesus. May your Holy Spirit guide us, instruct us, and teach us in the way that we shall go. May we be obedient to your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, take over. Take over our lives, oh God. Take over this nation, oh God. Take over our church, oh God. Let self be slain. Let flesh be slain. May your spirit reign. Holy Ghost reign. Holy Ghost reign. Holy Ghost reign. Holy Ghost reign. Yena meka shata ilapa. Yiko shuto ilapa. Mama kacha ta ilapa. Yena meka shata ilapa. Holy Ghost reign, Holy Ghost reign, Holy in our lives, reign in our community, reign in our nation. In the name of Jesus, not by our might, nor by our power, but by the Spirit of the living God. We pray, mighty God, that your will be done. Lord, but don't worry, sick. Mighty God, I know you can heal. If you have healing in the Bible, you can heal today. Mighty God, we put the, the sick into your hands. Jehovah Rapha, we call on you. Jehovah Rapha, we need you. Heal us in the name of Jesus. Those in the hospital, mighty God, restore. Heal divine health in the name of Jesus. We can't never plans of the enemy. We can't never plans of the enemy. May we live to declare the works of the Lord. We shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord. We command our bodies to be healed. We are healed in the name of Jesus. Sickness cannot take up our body. We shall be healed in the name of Jesus. Restore our health in the name of Jesus. Restore our health, oh God. If you can't do it before, you will do it again. Your name is Jesus. You are a great God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Abba Father, for you are a good God. We say thank you, hallelujah, to your name, Jesus. We say thank you, Abba Father, for you have done it again. We say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Reign in this service, oh God. Not our will, but your will be done in this service. Use your man servant this morning, oh God. As he preached the word, he was preached. Thus said the Lord. May his tongues be like fire in the name of Jesus to go forth. May he pray souls in the name of Jesus. Let your word touch souls, oh God. May you come pick souls for your kingdom. May you take people from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. In the name of Jesus, we say thank you once again for what you are doing in our lives. And may we continue to give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Thank you. Good morning, church. Can you say that the presence of the Lord is truly in this place this morning? Can we just lift our hands and say, welcome, Holy Spirit. Thank you for being in our midst this morning. Hallelujah. So, it is my privilege to do the welcome this morning. And so, I want to ask all those who are visiting with us for the very first time, if you can stand no, no first time visitors. Church, we have some work to do. We really have some work to do. Yeah? Those of us who are online, if you are visiting with us for the very first time, you're watching for the very first time, you can, you know, message in the chat one, and I'm sure the chat will welcome you. They will welcome you. So, is there among us anyone who would have been celebrating a birthday today? Or the past week, I see some hands. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to all our own. Happy birthday, happy birthday. I do hope that you enjoy your day. And if it's today, I'm sure that you're going to go home and you're going to have a wonderful day. I'm, there are some on the overhead. If you see them, just, you know, just say a happy birthday to them. And for those who are celebrating a wedding anniversary, any? Woo! Happy anniversary to you and yours. 
happy, happy anniversary to those who are streaming on the overhead as well. I also want to extend a special and warm welcome to uh, Jamelia and her husband, Jason, who are visiting from Connecticut. This is um, the daughter of Sister Millicent Graham. Welcome to Church of the Open Bible. Continue to enjoy the rest of this youth service and don't leave with your praise leaving in the house. Walk with your praise when you're leaving. Amen. Good morning, everyone. I'm Kristin, Sister Kristin Log, and I'll be your moderator today. Alongside Sister Angelina Parkinson. Good morning, saints of God. Okay. So our theme for today is a time to reignite and reset. No, they didn't hear it. Let's repeat again. Our theme for this morning is a time to reignite and reset. Do we believe that, church? Is it indeed a time to reignite and reset? beginning of the year what a time we are here this morning because God is good and at the start of this year this is the first youth service and we want to welcome you again we know that through the help of the Holy Spirit he will ignite us reignite us this morning and he will reset us and renew us in by the Spirit by his Spirit hallelujah okay thank you Angelina so the next item on our program will be the scripture reading by Sister Brianna Copeland, taken from Leviticus 6, verses 8 to 13. Then a ministry item, dance by Sister Nicole Sweeney, following the introduction of the speaker by Sister Angelina Parkinson. Good morning, church. Please stand for the reading of God's holy word. The Bible scripture is taken from Leviticus 6, verses 8 to 13. Please follow as I read. The Lord said to Moses, Give Aaron and his sons this command. These are the regulations for the burnt offering. The burnt offering is to remain on the altar, hearth throughout the night, till morning, and the fire must be kept burning on the altar. The priest shall then put on his linen clothes with linen undergarments next to his body and shall remove the ashes of the burnt offering that the fire has consumed on the altar and place them beside the altar. Then he is to take off these clothes and put on others and carry the ashes outside the camp to a place that is ceremonially clean. The fire on the altar must be kept burning. It must not go out. Every morning, the priest is to add firewood and arrange the burnt offering on the fire and burn the fat of the fellowship offerings on it. The fire must be kept burning on the altar continuously. It must not go out. This is a reading of God's holy word. Thanks be to God.
your eyes on the sparrow And your hand, it comforts me From the ends of the earth to the depth of my heart Let your mercy and strength be seen Yes, you call me to your purpose As angels understand For your glory may you draw
bless the Lord. Hallelujah. So our morning speaker is definitely not a stranger. And we'll have Brother Josh Darling who will come and do the announcement, who will come and introduce this morning speaker. Following that, we'll have a ministry item by our youth band and then the word. God bless you. Morning, church. Our morning speaker is no stranger to us. He's a father of two children, one, one boy and a girl, married to Tene Waite, recently graduated from the College of Theology and International Studies, CITES. Um, please help me welcome our own brother, Orlando Waite. Hallelujah. Church, ever feel so down and depressed? Where does feel like a can't praise him? Is me alone? Where you feel so down and out and you feel like you can't praise? Church, I was going through um, last week. Oh, yeah, last week. And um, I was just supposed to minister um, today. And I was just so sick. I was ill. I am... Um, but it was going on with a whole lot of things. Um, and I was just so discouraged, even in my sickness. And I said, God, I'm supposed to sing um, on Sunday. And I just feel like I just can't, I can't even talk. But sometimes the enemy is carrying you down and don't want you to praise God. But in spite of my sickness I say that I will praise his name I will shout glory and honor and praises to his name because he deserves it so despite your storms this morning despite what it is that you are going through regardless you will praise him sometimes you have to command your lips and your mouth to praise god so even in the season 2023 you will command your lips to praise him hallelujah Ooh, i've lost some good friends a long life's way some loved ones departed in heaven to stay but thank god i didn't lose everything i've lost faith in people who said they care but in times of my crisis they were never there but in my disappointments in my season of pain one thing never wavered one thing never
keep on praise him hallelujah come on church don't be seated already let us give god worship come on give god worship give god worship in spite of all that we have been through we have not lost our praise come on church of the living god in spite of all that we have been through we still have hope in jesus come on church of the living god our faith still remain in spite of the challenges in spite of the struggles i still have my worship come on can anybody testify you are going through what you are going through this morning but you can declare in the atmosphere i I never lost my praise come on church of the living God I never lost my hope I never lost my faith in God I've been through some stuff but I'm still standing I'm still gonna worship I'm still gonna exalt the name of Jesus come on church of the living God let us worship him let us worship him let us exalt the name of Jesus Christ come on church of the living God just for a few more minutes let us push let us push God has been good to us God has been merciful it was David who said if it was not for the Lord who was on my side tell me where would I be if it was not the Lord who was on Orlando side I would have been dead buried forgotten but because the Lord come on church let us love him up this morning let us love him up this morning I love you Lord I love you Lord my God God Almighty, many don't understand this relationship, many don't understand this love between me and my God. Oh Jesus, I love you, I love you, Lord. I love you. Hey, if you love him this morning, give him worship. If he has been good to you, give him worship, my God. When I think of all that I have been through, church, when I think about the goodness of God, hey, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. God, we give you worship. We give you worship. Mighty God, we give you worship. We give you worship. You are deserving of our worship. You are deserving of our praise. We give you worship, God. We give you worship. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Marco, Kada, Baba, Baba, Roboko, Shata, Baba, Kosata, Roboko, Shikada, Baba, 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 Kosata, Marco, Sheko, Roboko, Shakata, Hey, Marco, Sheko, Roboko, Sata, Baba, Kosata, Exalt the name of Jesus. Exalt the name of Jesus. Exalt the name of Jesus. His word is word is worthy to be praised. God, you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. We are not deserving this morning, but thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You may be seated. You may be seated. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God, you are a good God. God, you are a good God. God, you are a merciful God. Can we just lift our hands just for a few seconds? In just surrender. My God, we surrender all to you this morning. 
All to you, Jesus, we surrender this morning. All to you this morning. All to you. Our burdens, our burdens, our burdens. Our burdens, we give them to you. Everything, God, we are going through, we surrender. And we say, God, have your way in our lives this morning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God is indeed a good God. He is a God who is worthy of all honor, glory, and praise. I reach a point in my life, church, where I start to worship God for who he is. That's where I am in my life. And I say that to say this. When my wife was going through with our second child our daughter i said god regardless of what happened i'm still gonna worship you i'm still gonna worship you took one daughter mighty god and it was not easy but if it is your will to take this daughter i'm still gonna worship you i give god thanks that he have mercy and my daughter is alive and well but come what may church i have a made up mind that i am going to worship God for who he is. I want to greet our pastor, Reverend Franklin King, the bishop of our association. I must say I give God thanks for him. He has indeed impacted my life in many ways. I thank God for the work that he's doing. I want to greet his lovely wife, Sister King, a wonderful woman of God, you know, the whole family, Jessica, and so on. I want to greet also Minister Davis, a man that is just full of joy, full of energy, always smiling. We give God thanks for him. And all our leaders, we give God thanks for you this morning. And you beautiful people seated here in front of me. And those online, I wonder if the cold in the morning or the windy morning Cause some of us to stay away a little. But can I tell you, inside here is on fire. We are on fire for God this morning. Now, the scripture was read earlier. From the book of Leviticus, chapter 6, verse 8 to 13. I will just highlight just a few verses. Highlight verse 9. Where the Bible says, And Aaron and his sons. Let me start from verse 8. The Lord said to Moses, Give Aaron and his sons this command. These are the regulations of the burnt offering. The burnt offering is to remain on the altar earth throughout the night till morning. And the fire must be kept burning on the altar. I go now to verse 13, which says, The fire must be kept burning on the altar continuously it must not go out our theme this morning is a time to reignite and reset it comes a time church when we have to as believers in Christ reignite and reset why church of the living God because on a constant um, on a daily basis we are fighting 
battles constantly church of the living God and sometimes these battles they weary us and sometimes we have to take ourselves away into a quiet place or even gather at a time like this so that we can reignite so that fire that is on the inside of us will continue to burn so that fire that is on the inside of us will not go out now to reignite means to is to begin or cause something to or cause something to burn again when I talk about fire this morning based on the scripture i will be talking about the literal fire but i will also be talking about uh, the spiritual uh, fire and that is church of the living god uh, the continuous love uh, and desire the believer uh, as for god and the things uh, of almighty god those who are on fire just love the things of god uh, those who are on fire just love uh, the lord uh, and not only that church of the living god uh, is the faith the believer uh, um, constantly displays uh, regardless of lives uh, many challenges church of the living God uh, so the fire that we have uh, no matter what comes our way uh, it should never church of the living God uh, goes out uh, amen church now when I was seeking God for this word it was really challenging and I said, God, what is it I'm going to share with your people? I've been going through the passage and nothing comes out at me. But while I was there yesterday, the Lord said, go back to the passage again. And church of the living God, after I went back to the passage, three things came out at me. Three commands, church of the living God, came out at me. Three commands that the Lord gave to Moses so that he will give to Aaron and his sons because they were the priest and the priests were the ones the Levites they were the ones who God called to make sacrifice or atonement on the behalf of the people church of the living God so these are three commands the first one that God gave to Moses to Aaron and his sons is one the burnt offering is to remain and the art throughout the night until the morning church of the living God the second one is this the priest is to wear linen clothes or garment to remove the ashes and the third one is this church the fire is to be kept burning continuously so those three commands they just come out at me and for dear from dear church i will build this sermon this morning now the bible says church of the living god that the priest were supposed to go in church to make offering to offer a burnt offering unto almighty god but church of the living God let us ask ourselves this question why the priest had to go in or build an altar to offer a burnt 
offering, uh, Church of the Living God, uh, I would want to take you back uh, to the book of Genesis. Uh, Genesis chapter 3, uh, where man falls short uh, of the glory of Almighty God. Uh, and because man falls short uh, of the glory of God, God, atonement need to be made for the sins of mankind and so church what you will find happening in the Old Testament is that um, animal sacrifice was, was made for the people because church of the living God in order for our sins to be forgiven there must be shedding of blood i say that again church in order for our sins any one of our sins to be forgiven there must be some shedding of blood now the old testament is really a shadow of what is to come so in those days it was animal sacrifice church of the living god but this morning we give god thanks for what jesus christ has done for us church is the ultimate sacrifice is blood was shed once and for all for all the sins of mankind can somebody lift their hands and just give God worship so the burnt offering was a twice daily animal sacrifice offered on the altar in the temple in jerusalem that was completely consumed by fire now church in this dispensation god don't require animal sacrifice amen church at any altar God wants us to make our body church of the living God a living sacrifice. So no longer church of the living God. Do God require the priest to make any atonement on our behalf because Jesus paid the ultimate price church at Calvary and all he is asking of us this morning is to make our body church a living sacrifice holy church of the living God an acceptable unto God what is the scripture saying what is Paul saying in the scripture that church of the living God when we come to church on a Sunday morning we should feel free to lift our hands and give God worship when we come to church on a Sunday morning we should offer a praise unto almighty God when we come to service on a Sunday morning we should cry out unto God and give him thanks for all that he has done oh church of the living God God no longer need animals what God requires from us to keep the fire burning church is a living sacrifice those of us church of the living God who will give up anything and everything to follow after Jesus a living sacrifice holy and pleasing church of the living God unto almighty God that is what God that is what Paul is urging us to do Paul is begging us church of the living God to make our bodies a living sacrifice to live a life that is holy to live a life that is pleasing unto almighty God Paul goes on to say that we should not be conformed to this world but be transformed church by the renewing of our minds if we are going to keep that fire burning church we cannot take on to the patterns of this world the people of God must be separated must be separated church of the living God the songwriter says we bring sacrifice of praise 
into the house of the Lord. We bring sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. And we offer on to him the sacrifices of thanksgiving. And we offer on to him the sacrifices of praise. For church, this is what the Lord requires of us. This is what the Lord wants from us to make our bodies, church, a living sacrifice. So the priest Aaron and his sons was instructed to ensure that the burnt offering remain at the earth, which is the base of the fireplace. It should remain there all night, church of the living God, right until morning, church. So it is with our prayers. Everywhere we are, we should give God worship. Wherever we are, whatever we are doing, God should get the worship that he deserves. So not only church, Was they commanded to offer burnt offering? But they were also church of the living God. The priests, Aaron and his sons, were also ordered to wear a linen garment to remove church of the living God, the ash in the morning church. I want you to understand this. Or whenever you light a fire, you will realize church of the living God that ash, you're going to see ash after a period of time. I am from the country church and my God, I used to blow wood fire. I used to blow a wood fire so till the eye water run out of my eyes them. It was if the wood no good church of the living God. And sometimes when you finish cooking, you will see all sort of ash. My God by the fireside. What the Bible here is saying. The ash from the burnt offering. The next day church of the living God. The priest would now put on his garment that was set apart that was designed by Almighty God because church of the living God we must understand this that we cannot go into the presence of a holy God any and any hour the priest had to look away the priest they had to ensure that they are holy church of the living God because in the Old Testament days if you go to God any and any hour your fire would be holy So church, there was a special uh, garment that was designed, church of the living God, uh, for the priest to go in uh, to remove the harsh church uh, of the living God. Uh, I want to say this to the church. Uh, sometimes as Christians, uh, there are some harsh church of the living God uh, that we need to get rid of. Uh, oh my God, some of us, uh, the fire is dwindling down uh, because the harsh is church uh, of unforgiveness is plaguing us. The harshest church of bitterness is plaguing us. The harshest church of living God of biting is plaguing us. The harshest church of the living God of fornication is plaguing some of us. There are some harshest church that is plaguing us that we need to remove so that the fire church can be reignited. So that 12 Washington Boulevard can be on fire for the Lord. But search of the living God, including myself, we have to search ourselves. Search ourselves for the hash that needs to be removed. One of the hash, church of the living God, that plague a majority of church people, generally speaking, 
is unforgiveness. Unforgiveness. And even some of you here this morning, you are struggling with unforgiveness. Somebody did you something wrong or what you thought was wrong. Somebody spoken to you and you never like it. Somebody never called to you this morning. Them step on your car and as a result of that, when you see the person you want to walk far, church, no, you need to get rid of that ash. If you want the fire church to be blazing church of the living God, if you want the fire to never go out, we need to remove some things. Some things are stifling the fire. Church, when I'm in the country, if I don't remove that hash, the fire sometimes take a longer time to blaze. But the moment you clean away the hash and you set up your fire church of the living God, and my God, you see the wood just start to blaze church of the living God. And when I put on my pot church, the rice cook, the rice start cook, and the fire keep it to the end. My chicken start cook, and the fire keep it to the end. So church of the living God for the fire to continue blazing church we have to remove some things if this is really the time to reignite and reset we have to examine church of the living God ourselves this morning the garment was worn only when the priest was to carry out his officiating duties, the garment, the measurement was exactly the body of the priest. The garment was an emblem of purity, church of the living God, and holiness of Christ, our high priest, who was without sin, church of the living God. So likewise, church, when we are regenerated, we are clothed, church of the living God, in Christ's righteousness, oh church, and all the ashes of sin, church of the living God, are no longer dear church. The moment I confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, I tell Take off my old garment church and I put on something new. I put on righteousness because those are church of the living God. They are no more church. When I used to out there partying, when I used to out there carry on, I was on my way to a devil's hell. But Jesus stepped in and he put a new garment on all of us this morning. Give God worship for this new garment church that we are wearing church the garment of righteousness in the book of 2nd Corinthians 5 and 17 Paul says any man any one of us in Christ is a new creature. All things are passed away, church. And behold, all things have become new, church. The places I used to go, I go there no more. The things I used to do, I do them no more. Why, church of the living God? I'm wearing a garment of holiness. I'm wearing a garment of righteousness. Because I want to go into the presence presence of a holy God church I believe and this include myself that if we just get a, a revelation 
knowledge like that of Isaiah. When Isaiah was carrying on, and boy, Isaiah was prophesying and going on. But in chapter 6, the Bible says, when King Hosea died, church, my God, Isaiah said, there was no revelation. I saw the Lord high and lifted up church and his train filled the temple. And my God, when Isaiah looked into the spiritual realm, all Isaiah could saw was the seraphim, seraphims, oh church of the living God, worshiping almighty God. And all they were saying, church, is holy, 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 is the Lord God Almighty. Isaiah said, whoa, I'm undone, church. I'm a man of unclean lips. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, take us to another level in you, God Almighty. Let us understand more, reveal yourself more unto us here at 12 Washington Boulevard. We need a new experience. So, Isaiah 61 and 10, it goes on to say, I will rejoice greatly in the Lord. My soul will exalt in my God. For he has clothed me with garments of salvation that all of us who are Christians are wearing. He has wrapped me, church of the living God, in robe of righteousness this morning, church. So the enemy don't have anything on me this morning. The enemy, church of the living God, and some people who like to go deep sea diving, can go and dig up my past, can go and talk about all that I have done, church of the living in God when I never met the Savior church but my God reassures me that as far as the east is from the west so are my sins forgiven this morning I'm clothed in righteousness so the priest he had to put on this special garment Along with his undergarment. Can I tell you something? You know that God was the first one who designed underwear. Because the priest, they had to have their undergarment. I'm serious. God was the first one who came up with undergarment. So some of the things that we have known and are doing now. If many of the inventors would have been honest. They would tell you that they get it from the Bible. Just as ashes prevent the natural fire from reigniting, the natural fire from reigniting, so too sin will prevent the spiritual man from reigniting as well. So just like our ashes, Prevent the natural fire from burning church of the living God. So it is if we don't remove certain things. Our fire church of the living God will remain on a low flame or some flame that is all died out church of the living God. This morning church, let us clothe ourselves in that garment of righteousness. Knowing, church of the living God, that we are going into the presence of a holy God. Now the third and final command that was given by Moses to the priesthood is this. The fire... The fire is to be kept 
burning church of the living God. Continuously church. Aaron and his sons were given strict instructions that the fire on the altar must keep on burning church. It must not go out church of the living God. I'm here to say to 12 Washington Boulevard this morning church that the fire the Holy Ghost fire church that is on the inside of us church. God is saying to us that fire must not go out church. That fire must keep on blazing church of the living God. I must be honest with you. The challenges are many church. The crosses are many. It was Jesus who said if you are to come unto me pick up your cross church and follow me church of the living God. Once you are following after Christ all sorts of things are going to happen to your church of the living God once you are following Christ church you're going to lose loved ones once you are following Christ church you are going to be heartbroken once you are following Christ church you are going to be disappointed once you are following Christ church sometimes sickness are going to come upon us but church of the living God regardless of these trials regardless of these temptations I will not allow church the fire that is on the inside of me to go hold church of the living God this fire that is on the inside oh my God church must keep on burning must keep on blazing even when you don't feel like it church sometimes you're gonna feel like Jeremiah who said I feel like fire shocked up within my bones the work of God must go on So in spite, church of the living God, of what we are going through, the fire must continuously keep on blazing, church of the living God. Now, church, what does this fire represent? Why this fire, church of the living God, must never go out? And I'm going to share it with you. This fire, church, that the priest had to burn continuously it represents church the, 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 the presence of almighty God church of the living God we don't need no more church to catch no fire because fire is already on the inside of us Jesus Christ has given us his spirit his presence church are always with us wherever I go is with me my grandmother mother would say the tree loving spirit when she's praying for us may eat they eat with you may they drink with you may they sleep with you the holy spirit church of the living god this fire is on the inside of me and church i cannot afford for the presence of the lord to depart from me can i get a amen church of the living god most he said church if your presence is not going with us I am not going if your presence is not with me when I get this promotion I don't want it if your presence is not with my wife or my husband to be then God, I don't want to go. If your presence is not leading this ministry, I don't want to go. Moses said, your presence, I need your presence 
Church of the living God, if there is ever a time that we need the presence, the fire of Almighty God, church of the living God, it is now. With all that we as a people are going through, with all that the nation church is going through, we need the presence with us. One songwriter says, I must have the Savior with me, for I dare not walk alone. I must feel his presence presence with me wherever I go his presence church so God commanded the priest would the burnt offering on the altar the burnt offering is to remain throughout the night right until a morning church a whole heap of work the priest had to do because by morning early, I have to get up and I have to remove that hash. So we too, Church of the Living God, daily, we have to be renewing ourselves. Daily, Church of the Living God, we have to be reigniting ourselves. And how are we going to do that, Church? It is simple, but it can be difficult. Reading the Word of God. Fast, pray. Pastor, I've been talking about the importance of, of, of we as a church this year, our devotional lives. Thank you. Our devotional lives, church of the living God. If we are going to remain in the presence of God, we have to spend time with Almighty God. If not, your fire is going to go out. The enemy is going to pull us back in the world. And we who are in church sometimes, uh, we are going to remain lukewarm. Uh, and God no want a lukewarm church. God wants a church that is on fire for him. And we pray this morning. And we are going to pray for two minutes as I close. So I was saying that the first command is the, is the offering, the burnt offering remaining at the hearth of the altar throughout the night until morning. <clears throat> the next one is the priest is commanded to wear a linen garment to remove the hash. And the next thing God commanded him to do is to keep the fire burning continuously. Stand with me, church. May the fire of my altar never burn out. May the fire of my altar never burn out. Make me a house of praise. May the fire of my altar never burn out. May the fire of my altar never burn out. Make me a house of praise. May the fire of my altar never burn out. May the fire of my altar never burn out. May the fire of my altar never burn out. Make me a house of praise. My altar never burn out. May the fire of my altar never burn out. May the fire of my altar never burn out. May me a house of praise. I want you to just grab hold of the person next to you. And we are going to pray for the rekindling of the fire for all of us. Because sometimes even my fire needs to be reignited one more time. And we are going to pray that as a church, we will, we will remain on fire for the Lord for 2023 and beyond. And you are going to pray for the person you are holding. Because sometimes we don't know what persons are going through. And the fire is there to burn out sickness. To burn out and purge everything that is not of God. So this morning, let us pray. Father, we give you thanks. And we give you praise. God, we glorify you. We magnify you, God, because of who you are. We thank you, God, for the fire this morning. 
we thank you God Almighty for your presence we thank you God Almighty that you are the consuming fire this morning in the name of Jesus my God this is a time to reignite God here we are as a church my God we have been through so much things hey God so much things have happened to us but we come together this morning Jesus calling upon you God Almighty to cause a fire God to blaze on the inside of us to cause God this fire to never go out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth hey God we prophesy and we speak in the atmosphere that God after this morning our lives will never be the same again we prophesy God that after this morning 12 Washington Boulevard will never be the same again because God Almighty every stick is gonna catch a fire Rabba Koshata we say fire 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 we say Holy Ghost fire we say the presence of Almighty God remain and abide with us my God if your presence is not going with us if your presence God is not going before us we as a church God don't want to go we say God lead us father and we will follow we pray this morning God that the fire will burn every form of sickness we curse it God from the roof whatever the diagnose whatever the, the, the doctor say God we say healing is the children's bread we pray God Almighty for the fire to burn up cancer cells we pray God Almighty for arthritis to go we pray God that the fire will burn and normalize high blood pressure we pray God that that back pain will go right now in the name of Jesus we pray God that our internal organs will line up right now in the name of Jesus Christ we pray God Almighty for our sister Michelle Spencer we pray God Almighty for Michael Forrester we pray God that the fire mighty God will catch a blaze wherever they are now God Almighty and whatever sickness will be root up mighty God will leave their bodies right now and that goes God for those that are in the house as well Hey, Marco Shatta. We say healing, healing, healing. We say healing, healing, healing. We say healing, healing is the children's bread. God Almighty, thank you for your strength. Strengthen us, God. Strengthen us. When we are we, God, you are strong. When we are we, God, you are strong. Somebody need your strength this morning. Strengthen them, Almighty God. Somebody need a special a touch from you this morning. Touch them, Almighty God. And that after today, Father, the their lives will never be the same again and we pray we pray we pray we're gonna release a fire in this house we're gonna release we're gonna open our mouth and we're gonna declare the fire of God for 2023 and beyond come on church father we say fire oh God Almighty fire in our service fire God all over 12 Washington Boulevard fire God so that when people come in contact their lives will never be the same again release your fire all over 12 Washington Boulevard may our fire God never 
people go out, reignite us one more time, God, for what is ahead. Can we just lift our hands and just thank God, give him thanks, give him thanks. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I now hand over to our pastor. Kindly be seated. There is a pause for a moment. If the fire of God is going to come upon us, then we need to surrender to him. With all heads bow and all eyes close, it's a time for us to reflect and our own lives is a time for us to ask ourselves the question is the fire of God in me? And the only way the fire can be in you if you have a relationship with Jesus Christ. So I'm going to ask you to kindly if you do not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, He would like to come into your heart this morning and you would like to make it right. Could you pray this prayer after me? Dear Jesus, I am a sinner. I am sorry for the sins that I have committed. Forgive me, Lord. Of all my sins. Come into my heart. And take control of my life. And help me to serve you. For the rest of my life. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. With all heads born, all eyes closed. If you are not born again and you have prayed that prayer. Would you just raise your hand? I want to pray a special prayer before I go this morning for you. For you special. You have prayed that prayer and you, you are not a Christian. Could you just raise your hand that I can pray for you? That I can pray for you this morning. No one like that. Anyone like that. No one like that. Praise God. Father, we thank you again for your words. Lord, we pray for those persons on radio, in radio land, those on the internet, Lord, who will hear your words. We pray in the name of Jesus that, Lord, your word will bring conviction to their hearts. And those who will receive you as Lord and Savior, may you cement them in you. The Lord, they will run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. And most of all, when the saints go marching in, may they too be in the number. Have your way, Lord, we pray. And we give you all the honor, the glory, and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. I'm going to invite you at this time. To take out your tithes and your offering as you make ready to present your gifts to the Lord this morning. Please take out your tithes and your offering as we make ready to present our gifts this morning. God is a faithful God. We want to welcome back Minister Davis, who are out on vacation. Can you put our hands together and make him welcome? Praise God. We also have brother and sister Henry, member, residing overseas, but visiting with us this morning. So happy to have you in church with us. Could you stand and be acknowledged? Can you put our hands together and make them welcome? So happy to have you this morning. Come on, man, do better than that. Wow, yes. Praise God. Praise God. You know, brethren, if you have your 
didn't take any cash and you want to swipe your card, you can kindly go to the back of the church and someone is there waiting for you to come. So please do so. Let us hold our gifts in our hand as we ready to present them to the Lord. Father, we come to you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son. Lord, we want to give you thanks for your provisions for us. God, we are so blessed. You have, you continue to bless us. Bless us with health and strength, food on our table, shoes on our feet. Lord, so many things. We are here this morning. Lord, as we give back a portion to you, we pray you'll receive it. And may it use for the furtherance of your work here on earth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Brethren, two things very quickly. Ushers, kindly come along. We are going to be asking you this morning, those of you who park, listen carefully, brethren, it's very important. Our second service, we will be hosting the national prayer service. You know this week, Thursday will be the National Prayer Breakfast. We are hosting the National Prayer Breakfast service this week. And this will be in the 1015 service. We have government officials. We have persons from the security force. And all different um, dignitaries will be coming in. So for security purpose, we are going to ask the persons who park alongside Endes Hall, that building from the office right up to the end. If you park on that side to the building, we are going to kindly ask you to remove your vehicle immediately after service and make it vacant that we can have it for those persons who are coming in. Amen, church. Amen, church. Just cooperate with me this morning. I didn't want to block off nowhere before service this morning. It's your church, you know. I want you to enjoy the facilities. So if you are, and I don't want you to know why pastors are removed. Let me just go home and I'll stay at Sunday school. No, no. That's a wrong spirit. I want you to stay at Sunday school. But I'm just asking you to remove your vehicle so that those who are coming in, you know, we don't want to have the um, bundling and so on. We want everything to go smoothly. So if you park on that side, kindly just remove your vehicle and cooperate that we can have order in the house of the Lord. Amen? Praise God. Ushers, I say you should come long ago. I say you should come long ago, Ushers. So we're going to ask you to do so. All right. The other thing, brethren, I want you to do, look around us. I think I live where I live colder than anywhere else. Any of you live. Did you know that? The Yorton Linstead area there, very cold. But we made the sacrifice and be here in the mornings. I really want to encourage you to, one, I realize we are coming to church a little bit late. Let's see if we can come a little bit earlier. But more so, brethren, invite someone to come to church. Amen? Amen, church? Yes, man. We talking about the fire. We talking about the fire of God. We talking about our Keeping the fire blaze, it's so important. One of the ways we keep the fire blaze is to constantly telling people about Jesus. Constantly sharing our faith. Constantly inviting somebody to church. That is critical. And church is not room for rent. Apply within. I run out and you run, out, run in. We have to defy the enemy. And constantly... Engage yourself in the things of Almighty God. Amen? Praise God. At this time, we are going to have the announcements. Let us um, listen carefully. The announcements for Sunday, January 15, 
2023. Our regular schedule, Sundays, school prayer and fasting is held every second Saturday at 7.30 a.m. to 12 noon. Join us for Sunday school face-to-face -face and online from 9.15 a.m. to 10 a.m. every Sunday morning. Zoom ID 828-1472-6954. Password class. See you in Sunday school. Join, yes, join us face-to-face -face and online this Friday at 7 p.m. for an exciting Overcomers meeting. You don't want to miss it. Invite a friend. Zoom ID 749-184-4974. And the passcode is Overcomers. Discipleship class is held on Sundays at 9.15 a.m. and on Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. upstairs. Membership class is also held at 9.15 a.m. on Sundays. Prayer meetings are held online Tuesdays and Wednesdays at 5 a.m. and on Saturdays at 6 a.m. And the Zoom ID is 834-1664-8559. The passcode is PRAY. Face-to-face -face, uh, Tuesday, and it's also held face-to-face -face, Tuesdays and Wednesday mornings at 6 a.m., and Thursdays, we have our church's day of our church's prayer meeting, which is held on Thursday, Thursdays, and it's called our Mountain Movers Prayer Meeting, and it's held at 9 a.m. to 12 noon. If you need prayer, or if you have accepted the Lord as your personal Savior, you may call or send a WhatsApp or text message to 876-449-3901. On Sundays, between 8.30 a.m. and 2 p.m., all other days are 4.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. The banking information for Church of the Open Bible, KOBC, is as follows. NCB, Constant Spring Financial Center, account number 13100-1185. Account type, current account. Kindly insert your name in the remarks field so that the transaction will be easily identified. Also, depositors are asked to place a copy of the transaction slip or receipt in a tithe en envelope and submit it as it is customary or send the same via email to so the church's email address, kobc at cwjamaica.com. All night prayer meeting resumes online on Friday, January 27, 2023, sorry, starting at 10 p.m. until 6 a.m. Our theme is, I am with you. Please plan to attend using our usual prayer Zoom credentials. Street Pastors Jamaica is happy to announce that training for street pastors is scheduled to commence on January 31st, 2023. Interested persons may contact the church's office. The College of Theological and Interdisciplinary Studies, CITES, is offering three online short courses, duration February 22nd to May 25th, 2023. Please see the notice board for details. Kingston Keswick Convention is scheduled for Sunday, 20, sorry, Sunday, January 22nd to 29th, 2023 at the Boulevard Baptist Church. Please see the notice board for more details. Continue to pray for the sick, shut-ins, seniors, and bereaved members. Brother Michael Forrester is out of the hospital. The funeral service Amen. The funeral service for Carol Henry will be on January 21st, 2023 at 11:30 a.m. at the Church of God of Prophecy, 47 Bowers Avenue, Old Harbor. She was the mother of Zachary Medwinter, a new convert, sister of Sister Elaine Keppel and aunt of Phaedra and Jovan Keppel. Worship services are held on Sundays at 6.45 a.m. 
and 10.15 a.m. These were the announcements. Next, we'll have the Sunday School Focus done by a Sunday School representative following the announcement of the winner logo competition, which will be done by Deacon Ian Anderson. Then the closing hymn entitled, We Are a Chosen Generation, and the benediction by Reverend Franklin King. Thank you. Happy anniversary, KOBC. Happy anniversary, KOBC. Happy anniversary, KOBC. All right. This year, Kingston Open Bible Church celebrates our 60th anniversary. Woo! Our diamond anniversary. Nice. We have inherited a rich legacy. Isn't that right, George? Awesome. Yes, man. So many persons have come before us and we have found them to be faithful. Isn't God good? Amen. Just give God some thanks. Just Hallelujah. wave your hand and say, thank you, Jesus. 60 years. 60 ministry. years, 60 years. Praise God. And as you remember, last year, we launched it by inviting persons to participate in the logo competition. We will be using that logo right throughout our 60th year this year. Yes. And so, today, we want to especially just thank all those who would have participated Thank you so much. Thank you for encouraging persons to, you know, send in a logo. And drum roll, please. Drum roll. And the person who submitted the winning logo goes to came from. Yes. Britannia Smith. <laughs> And a check in the amount of $20,000. Thank you all. So please participate in all the activities for this, our 60th year. And, and the logo, please cue the logo, the winning logo. Yes, the winning logo, please. The winning logo. The winning design. logo, yes. All right. All right, thank you. thank you. See you guys at yes. Fellowship yes. Sunday, February 19th. Young people that are present in the house this morning, young people, this is very, very important. And we are going to ask some persons that um, come with a young person. And you may have to leave early to just give us about five minutes. The executive and myself, we want to meet with the young people for just five to ten minutes. I'm asking, I'm pleading, please young people, from you are between the ages 12 to 35, just remain, just come at the front. And um, we will take it from there. Please, I'm asking you. Parents, those who have to go, I'm asking you for just 10 minutes with your son, daughter, or your niece. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, please stand for the hymn. Okay. So we are a chosen generation. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you believe that you're a chosen generation? Hallelujah. We are a 
our chosen generation Call for to show His excellence All our, all our required for life God has given me I know who I am We are, we are a chosen generation Call for to show His excellence All I require All I require for life God has given me I know who I am I know who God says I am What He says I am Where He says I'm at I know who I am I know who God says I am What He says I am Where He says I'm at I know who I am. I'm working in power. I walk in miracles. I live a life of favor. Cause I know who I am. I'm walking in power. I walk in miracles. I live a life of favor. Cause I know who I am. God bless us. May Almighty God enlarge our territory and extend our borders. May the hands of God be upon us mighty and protect us from the wicked one. Now and forevermore. Amen. Remember, if you park alongside the building, kindly move your vehicle. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. What good?